Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri and you are very welcome. This video is one of unusual ones. I saw our grandma on the news. I said, what is going on? I didn't understand the subtitle properly, so I translated it. And I love the story because I can relate to this story very well. I can't begin to tell you it will be too long but please listen to our grandma and the story the reason why she is a hero of Burkina Faso just like the army officer that I shared some time ago I'm hoping that we can learn from our grandma families please listen I'll be back thank you for your time she has devoted more than 40 years of her life to education in Burkina Faso her name is Marguerite Balimazongo, one of the Moro Navaba Bago educators, a teacher like no other in the eyes of the customary leader, who pays tribute to her in a variety of ways. Read more in this dossier signed by Salif Erbelum and Umasage, first teacher, first year. Put children of all children. Beautiful Marguerite, loved and respected. With this poem, the author of Moronava Bongo pays tribute to the woman who taught him to read and write, his first grade teacher. A poem that read alone illustrates the influence of Marguerite Balamanzango in the life of his CPE un pupil at the Bonauren Bay School. His Majesty the Moron. If my student from 1963. I held it until CE and for four school years. Marguerite Balliman passed on her knowledge and know how to the traditional leader who, even back then, embodied the values of tradition. As a teacher in Moron, I never saw him even talk. I'm not saying he didn't, but I didn't and he always came on time. There were three old people who regularly accompanied him. For her, teaching is much more than passing on knowledge, it's about being a guide, and it's fair to say that Marguerite Balliman was a great help to Munaba Bongo who, many years later, was delighted to see his CPE on teacher again. Where he sent it, one of his security men who knew the house to come and get me. He came. There you are Madame Le Moreau said to come and get you and tell me. What's wrong with no, you can. I said, but you'll have to wait until tomorrow. If I leave you, the Moreau won't be happy. So I got ready and set off. When I arrived, it was a Friday, and the notables were there. The courtyard was full for walking, even if I had difficulty. When I arrived, I was introduced. He was on his throne and I stayed below. I greeted him, but he didn't recognize me. Mr. Hassman, the security guard, asked, Do you recognize the old lady? He said, Bon Mademoiselle Jean Debu on a seven year old, Mademoiselle Zana couldn't take it anymore. So I got up, and that's how the first meeting happened. And so far, now, as soon as there's something, if I'm warned, then I go. And I'm always well received. Marguerite Baltimas and Go began teaching in 1960. Kodugu, Wagadugu, Kaya, and Bobo du Lasso are all towns where she has served in almost five decades of teaching. Marguerite Balaman calls teachers to the priesthood, to see their profession as a mission, a great responsibility. That of contributing to the construction of taxes that have no better via quality human resources. A mission whose responsibilities are shared with the cell. Dis Families, thank you for listening to this wonderful, inspiring video. What do you think? What is going on in your mind? Do you know anyone? Who has imparted something good in your life i know it was my teacher as well and it's a long story one day i will tell you and thank goodness i went back to say thank you to him because life is too short i don't know when i will go or when he will go i want him to know that what he has done for me i'm grateful please if you know someone in your life that has done something it doesn't matter how little it is. Show appreciation. And if you haven't done anything yet, 
Look for someone that you can do something, impart something in that person that one day when they call your name, they have that thing in their throat that says that, oh my goodness, I miss you, I miss someone. It's not about money, it's not about food, but sometimes people can go or will be going through a lot you might not know. Your words will encourage them. Your words will change something in them, will shape the direction in which they are going. You don't have to be a teacher to be good or to be nice to other people. Let's find way and means to impart something in one another. That's all I want to say. God bless you all. My new retaining, my kings and queens, God bless you. If you like this story, because I love it, please like it, share it to encourage, motivate others, because life is too short. Whatever you live on this earth is worth it. Remember of you. If you are bad, they will say. If you are good, they will say it. So share it. Hopefully, it might change somebody's life. And let's be nice to one another. Let's not hate. God bless you. Teachers out there, if you listen to this, what are you doing? Change the life of your children that you are looking after. It shouldn't be teachers alone. Each and everyone, we should play our part. Credit to our TV. See you soon. Bye-bye.